So what's up YouTube? It's Red back again with another video. I know I didn't do no intro. I just started out with this. It's because it's random. This wasn't planned. Well, it was planned, but I didn't plan to do it today. Okay. So we are going to the San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site. It was made, I think, a long time ago. A long, long time ago. So you guys will see what the history is and where it originated from and everything else. When we get there, I will read everything that's there. It was actually free to go as well. And it had trails, but one of the trails was blocked off. And I'll later show y'all in the video. And I also go to the museum. There's a museum on the inside. And yes, you have to pay. I think it was about 10 or $13. And it was two floors. The first floor and then the third floor was a scenic scene type of view thing that you guys will see. It's very beautiful. Very, you know, very angelic-like. I did feel like you know, energy when I was here. So I'm definitely going to come back and I'm going to come back on another note. Rose to San Jacinto. Mexican Calvary Scouts spy the Texan camp near Harrisburg Road, now part of Independence Parkway. So this is when they was just sitting over here watching people, I guess. The location of the faithful battle was decided by geographic and roads. General Santa Ana led a small force of about, oh my God, that was a motherfucker. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to get the fuck. I had to get the fuck. I had to. Luckily, I'm wearing the colors that I watched on the sink you on. Anyways, General Santa Ana led a small force of about 650 Mexican troops to destroy the Texan provision government in New Washington. When this failed, he burned the town down and turned back to meet the rest of his army. On the way, he learned from his scouts that the rebels were camped along his route. So that was them right there, I guess. You hear a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Back to meet the rest of his army. On the way, he learned from his scouts that the rebels were camped along the route. The 900 or so Texans under General Sam Houston learned Santa Ana fought bitterly from a capture from a captured Mexican courier the day before they raced eastward from Harrisburg to prevent Santa Ana from crossing the San Jacinto River at Lynch Ferry. Confrontation was finally at hand. I like that they got that there, but it's very beautiful as you guys can see. April 20th, 1836. Whoa. It says, the day before the de decisive battle, Mexican and Texan cav cavalry forces faced off in a brief but fierce skirmish. After setting up camp, a group of 85 Texas Cavalrymen, led by Colony Sidney Sherman, rode out to capture the exposed Mexican cannon when confronted by Mexican cavalry. Sherman led an unsuccessful charge, and the Texans were forced to dismount their houses to reload. Disaster was prevented with Captain Jesse Bill Billingsley and a group of inf infantry and reinforcements marched to the rescue. It was all a close call. General Houston had ordered Sherman not to engage and removed him to as a commander of the cavalry. His replacement with somebody else during the scrimmage. So this must be where they found the cannon at, I guess. I don't know why they didn't keep it here then. It says fight or fight. Yeah, this is where they fought it. This must have been where they fought it. No wonder. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna come back. It says Mexican res uh, resistance quickly turned to a frenzy retreat. Santa Ana expected the Texans to attack on the morning of April 21st. When this failed to happen, he loosened his guard, exhausted from an all-night march. 500 reinforcements under General Coast were finally allowed to rest. The Texans launched their attack in the afternoon, unaware of how unprepared their enemy was. The Mexicans that remained on guard were quickly overwhelmed after advancing a brave but ineffective 18-minute renaissance. When defect became certain, the Mexicans attempted to flee whatever way they could for a mini surrender was not possible. So they couldn't even surrender because even if they did, they finally got shot. So it's the end of the battle crash. I have to hurry up, y'all, because this is a black bee that's fucking going around in circles. So, recognizing their defeat, Mexican soldiers attempted to flee or surrender, but hundreds uh, were slain by the vengeful Texans. So, I moved to this part. I just heard something. But, yeah. So, we're going to finish. Before marching to Texas to crush the uprising, the Mexican government issued the Tornell Decree stating that the rebels were to be treated as pirates, meaning intimate execution. Santa Ana used this decree for classification for the slaughters at the Alamo and Gallaudet and did not intend to take prisoners at San Jacinto either. Enraged, the Texans showed little mercy when the advantage turned their way and what was to be greater loss of, of life than the Alamo and the Gallaudet combined. The Texans killed over 600 Mexicans. Many became stuck in the knee-deep march which appeared to solid ground. Dang. As you can see, y'all, everybody did. So I guess this was where they found all the damn bodies. So you guys, as you can see, there is a little trail, 9 a.m. to 5.30. We're not gonna walk the whole thing. Um, as you can see, this whole, it makes a whole circle. So it's already getting creepy. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's giving creepy. I feel like I gotta bring my knife, so. I feel like I gotta bring my knife here. 
as you guys can see, it's a lot of fucking land. Hold on, y'all. I gotta make sure I'm not getting followed. Because, um, somebody literally drove past me and then came back and parked by my car. And this is the best place to kidnap somebody or kill somebody, especially if I'm by myself. So, as you guys can see, it's straight wilderness. So if I was to come, I'd have to come and boots, or tennis shoes. I'd have to come and um, with a knife protection and stuff. Cause I, I feel like this trail, there is no trail. What the fuck? Oh my God. Bro! It's a fucking black bee. Fight the battle. Warfare in the 1830s was not for the faint of heart. Soldiers fought the battle of San Jacinto as they had other battles up close to personal hand to hand combat. Resulted much more frequently than one to expect in the modern battle because of limitations of the weapons used at times. Soldiers on both sides carried mus muzzle loading single shot firearms that had, that's it right there, I guess, single shot um, firearms that had limited range and were difficult to reload in combat. After firing only a few shots, soldiers often finished the fight with knives, swords, and bonnets. Okay, so I understand that because I remember watching them old ass movies where people be doing that shit anyways. And that shit just be. Yeah. Um, the Texans charged the Mexican position with cries to remember the Alamo, remember Goliath. Unable to get formination, formination to mount a counterattack, the Mexican army began fleeing into the marshes beyond behind their position. It was in these marshes that were a great carnage of the battle that took place. Now slogging their way through reed and mud fell easily to pursue the Texans. They lay dead. Damn. About today, between 200 and 300 soldiers still lie in their muddy resting places at San Jacinto. Yeah, y'all. So that I guess this is where that they was running to. Because there's no trail here. I, I can't even... Look at this. They haven't even took care of this. That means they haven't even came over here. So if I was to go on the trail. Yeah, it's blocked off regardless by trees and shit. As you guys can see. Blocked off by trees. I can go through this tree and show y'all. As you guys can see, that's the trail right there. And been blocked off. Like they haven't fucking. And then there's fucking rope right here like why I'm just wondering why the trail is blocked off that's crazy I could try to get a little in for y'all as you guys can see there's no other way besides right here so I have to go through all this so the trail is blocked off. You can't even walk through here. It must have been some shit that happened. Either A, funding is not good. B, either people have died or C, it's too many animals. Because if funding is bad, they just didn't keep up with it. And if they did, they would have cut that shit down to where people can walk on the trail. So... I guess the trail is closed, it's not open. I really wanted to walk this whole though. It would've been a cool little walk. But as you can see, y'all, the grass is extremely high, so I'm pretty sure it's a lot of animals in here. I thought that anyways, before I was walking down here. As you guys can see now, I'm not by the trail. It says, Owl Monte captured and greatest carnage of battle occurred. So I guess this is where the battle happened. Across these grounds, Mexicans surrender. Many of the Mexican soldiers who escaped the initial bloodshed were taken prisoner. After the Texans won the battle, they continued chasing down at Mex and killing Mexican soldiers. Few were allowed to surrender in the attempted aftermath. However, the exhausted Texans finally began to round up groups to capture near sunset. Mexican colonel Santa Ana's uh, aide noticed that the Texans were killing individual soldiers and sparing groups. He rounded up 200 men 
for organized surrender and all the Texans took around 700 prisoners, many of whom were captured the day after the battle. It's crazy. It actually looks like there's a trail going this way. Right, but so I, we on a different side, closer to the monument now. She has to see. Sands and sheets of flag car flags have been used throughout history to, de Wait, to be used throughout history as symbols to identify cultures, peoples, causes, and places. Flown on the poles here are some of the flags to help us tell stories of the interwoven in this place we call Texas. They got the 1824 flag. It's composited by this. He copied the tricolor, all that. Then we got the bloody arm flag in 1835 in honor signing the Declaration of Independence. And then the Liberty flag. And I see it. I see the 1824, the bloody arm one, and the Liberty flag. I don't know what's down here. Um, I don't know if I want to go down here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm a lazy butt. I'm not going all the way over there because I don't see nothing that I can read that's over there. I don't have my dog with me, nothing like that. So I'm not going to walk around this thing right here. And then they got gates around it. That's how you know people must have fell in and died. Must have had hella cases. So yeah, nothing's really down here. As you can see, it's just a lake. Probably where they're walking up to the monument right now.
This elevator is so fucking ghetto because none of the fucking buttons work. Only five and one.